A murder mystery in Brooklyn. Why did it take a month for police to realize an elderly woman they thought died of natural causes had actually been killed? CBS 2's Janelle Burrell reports from Brownsville. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. No, you know, every, everybody's in shock because I've been here 25 years and this is disgusting. Heartache now turned to anger and disbelief for Myrtle McKinney's neighbors. I don't even want to talk about that. It's that painful. It's very sad. The question many here have, why did the 82-year-old's doctor sign off on her death certificate, ruling the cause of death as complications from hypertension and diabetes? And why did it take employees at the Caribbean funeral home preparing her body for burial to discover stab wounds and bruising on her body a month after she died to get police to reopen the case as a homicide? The medical examiner now saying stab wounds to her neck and upper body and severe bruising as the new cause of death. A family doctor, as far as we can tell in our determination right now, never feared the body. Um, the body stayed for about a month in the Brooklyn uh, morgue, at which time uh, the body was then removed by the funeral director to the funeral home where that funeral director discovered a stab wound in her neck. Police have sealed and padlocked the door to McKenney's apartment as they continue to sift through evidence as part of this investigation. It's something, you know, that you don't want to hear like that, you know, from somebody that really you don't see up and down, just in the apartment, walking the hall, that's about it. It was a home health aide that discovered McKenney underneath her kitchen table, unresponsive on November 9th, EMS declaring her dead at the scene. She was a nice lady. She don't talk to nobody. Police now questioning those who knew McKenney, but won't reveal what leads they do have as they work to determine who killed her and why. In Brownsville, Brooklyn, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. We reached out to McKenney's doctor who signed the death certificate. They have not yet returned our request for comment.